Hello guys, Shay Bailiff here. I wanted to make a quick instructional video on how to use Looptimus with Pro Tools. If you're like me, maybe I'm obscure, but I would rather use Pro Tools as my DAW while running backing tracks for a live performance instead of Ableton and other software. My preference has been Pro Tools, uh, but I couldn't figure out how to get a MIDI pedal to stop and start and resume or skip to the next track. I couldn't figure out how to use a MIDI pedal for Pro Tools Live. So I know, again, maybe a small audience, but this is a video on how to use the Lutimus MIDI pedal with Pro Tools if you're using Pro Tools to run your live backing tracks. Now, just to clarify, this video is not an instructional video on how to set up in-ear monitors, how to set up a backing track system with Pro Tools. I will make a video about that in the near future um, on how to set it up through your inner monitors and your playback audio. Uh, but this video is simply, if you've already got your setup, simply to teach you how to use the Looptimus MIDI pedal with Pro Tools. So first what I want to do is I wanted my uh, MIDI pedal to function as a stop or zoom. So this button here, if you have clicked this off and you hit your space bar to play and then you hit stop and you play again, it's gonna start back over from where your cursor is. So I, I don't want it to start back over. I've already done all my mapping for my session. So I just want it to stop, start, resume. So you're gonna click this button. So that way you hit play or space bar, hit space bar again or stop. And then when I hit space bar again, it's gonna resume from where we left off. So that way I can just continue to not to go in with the show and not worry about it. Go. And next we're gonna to go to Google and type in command post. That's the app that we're gonna to need to do this. Command post is what the logo looks like. You're gonna to go to the website and go to download. And then we're gonna click here and download it. I've, I've already downloaded it, so I won't do that. But uh, yeah, go ahead and download your software and install it. And then you can uh, open it up and get it going. A big key within this is, you know, when you download it and install it, be sure and, and move the app into your applications folder or your desktop uh, and go ahead and install it. And during install, be sure to allow accessibility. If you don't, it's not going to work. Um, but if for some reason you skip the allow accessibility, I'll show you kind of how to go back in that folder and allow access. So here we are, our desktop, we're going to go to uh, system settings here, and then uh, you would think it would be under accessibility over on this left column, but it's actually under privacy and security on my computer. I've got a newer Mac, and then you scroll down to accessibility from this screen, and just make sure the command post, you know, is turned on to the, to the right where you've got the blue button, and then it'll have accessibility. Otherwise, it will not work, so I, I got stumped on this for a second, but... This is the solution on this one. So now we've got the software downloaded. We're going to open it up in our dock here. And then you're going to have to go to control surfaces. And now here's where we tell our MIDI pedal what we want it to do. So I want my MIDI pedal. I'll just use this area here for learning sake. I'm going to select here and type in what I want the MIDI pedal button to do in my DAW. So I'm just going to do a, like an example for this one, uh, we're going to do shift and space and to do both keys at the same time in this app, you have to type shift and space and then enter. So I've typed shift and space enter and I'm going to select my Looptimus because I want to feed it out to my MIDI pedal. And now I'm going to click the button on my MIDI and, and I'm going to choose which button I want to make the shift and space command. So you're going to click learn and then let's say I want my Lutimus to, I want the D button to operate as a shift in space within DAW. I'm going to just click that D button and then stop once it's learned it. And then anytime you hit D, it's going to, in your DAW, operate as a shift in space. But for the sake of this video, I only use the Lutimus D pedal as just a space bar. I want it to just stop, start, resume. So I've got, this is actually what I'm using. Uh, for simplicity's sake and then I click learn and then uh, just hit the D button for space 
because I want to keep it simple. Uh, but you can make it do whatever you want is the whole point of this video. So yeah, now I'm uh, anytime that I hit D, here it is. It's it's running uh, the software, you know, and it'll any anytime I hit D again, it'll stop, and then it'll resume if I hit it again. So I just wanted a easy way to function, you know, uh, using backing tracks, and I just I like things to be very simple if possible. So this is more of a video for dummies. Hopefully it helped you out some, and. Uh, and that's it there. So here we go. I've got Liptimus here. I've got my Pro Tools DAW running. And anytime that I hit this D up here, automatically it's going to start playing. And I hit D again. Let's say I want to talk to the audience or whatever. I hit D, it stopped. And all I got to do is hit D again. And it's it's resuming for a left off, and that way we don't we don't got to look like we're checking our email during the whole set. A real crucial detail uh, with running this is to make sure that your computer is set to never sleep mode, to never shut off, or the screen to fade at all. So you want to make sure you set your preferences to where it never will sleep. Otherwise, if it sleeps during the show, it, it might actually pause your Pro Tools software where you, even if you hit the MIDI command pedal, it's not going to work. So as long as you got it where it's not going to sleep, you should be good. The last thing I forgot to mention is um, you have to be sure to have the command post software open uh, when doing this. So always have it open when you're trying to run it live. Never close it out. Um, the other thing too is like, now that I have it set up this way, you know, you want to have Pro Tools as your software that's open and command post while you're running this live. But just for fun's sake, you can you can even use this like in Safari. Like if I open up Safari and I go to the search bar and I press the D button on my Luptimus, it will literally like space, space, you know. So it's just whatever you've told it to do, it's going to do that. Uh, command that keyboard command in any software that you open up so a little side note I'll make another video but Ableton does not have a stop resume uh, MIDI command function where you're when you're trying to map it which is the whole reason why I'm, I'm using Pro Tools because uh, I figured out a way to use it within that so anyhow a little knock on Ableton I think Ableton's great but I couldn't get it to stop resume so this will also work with Ableton software, obviously, because it works on your entire computer. So so that's it, guys. That's the way that I figured out how to use Looptimus with Pro Tools. There's a lot of uh, other commands that you can use it for. You know, just keep in mind when you're using command post, like if you want your D button to function as three keys in your MacBook or your computer, just be sure to type the word and in between whatever commands you're wanting it to do, you know, so if you want it to do command space, you just type command and space. So keep that in mind. You can get a lot more complicated with it. You can use all the, the buttons on the Lutimus for whatever you want it to do. I just, I simply wanted it to be a stop and resume because I've done all my pre-production for the whole set on in Pro Tools and the DAW. So when I'm playing live, I wanted to, it to be very simple not complex because I've done all the hard work in pre-production with backing and recording. Uh, so anyhow, but yeah, hopefully that helped you out. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. Or if it helped you, let me know. Uh, check out our music, Shalif. We're on iTunes and Spotify and everywhere music can be found. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helped you out. And we'll talk to you soon. I was born on the west side Living for the old window I was given the high life, living for a fight and letting go. Always looking for a good challenge, but I don't like it all the time. I like a little bit of balance underneath all the rhythm and the rhyme. I woke up in the east side.